Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Aaron Franzine outside of our corporate office today. Um, we're going to do a video on heat stress and some cooling options that we have as well as safety. So it's about 98 degrees outside right now, which is also, believe it or not, Ken Allison's favorite band. A couple things to talk about first regarding safety is the difference between heat stress and heat stroke. Okay, so heat stroke is a medical emergency. Call 911. Some signs of that are going to be hot and dry skin, uh, nausea, vomiting, things like that. Call 911. Heat stress is kind of a precursor to heat stroke. Um, that's going to be cool and clammy skin. Um, they're going to they're going to also be nauseated, vomiting. You know, get them in a cool, dry place. So those are a couple of the signs. Um, in the summer months, you know, we want to make sure we're using a couple of things. Obviously, hydration is one of them. But when we're on a job, if we're in an attic. You know, rotate out, use the buddy system, just simple things like that that will help out and uh, get more production out there and keep our guys safe. Um, the Spectrum Mass from Bullard, um, <clears throat> a lot of guys use this. This is used in either a high pressure or a low pressure breathing application. Um, you can use a number of cooling devices with this. This here, this is the hot and cold tube. So you can see red and blue so whatever side you put this on is the side that you're gonna get okay so you put that on and this would be the cold option and it was just on the hot option okay so you can use this in the winter as well when you're insulating an attic if you're doing a good job it's gonna tend to get colder up there because it's working so you might want to switch this to use the hot side in the winter and the cool side in the summer and this can be used with the hoods, the masks, all of that stuff. The options I'm showing you with the cool tubes, these are high pressure options only, used in conjunction with a Bullard cab unit. Um, you know, a mask like this, you're gonna need four CFM, four to six CFM. Um, any of the cooling options are gonna be six to eight CFM. So you wanna make sure that you have that much air available with your air compressor, running an agitator, everything else. We need that air available for these things to work properly. Uh, moving on to my favorite option. I like the hoods just because they offer a protection factor of a thousand Which is the highest you can get um, they're easy to take on and off But in, in the summer months you're getting cool air all over your head rather than just kind of on your face with a mask Okay, so Again high pressure option. This is the AC 1000 cool tube um, This is going to give you a Delta of about 30 degrees Okay, so if it's 100 degrees outside, you're getting potentially 70 degrees of air, which is similar to the AC in your house, kind of your comfort zone with temperature. Um, you're gonna have 70 degree air coming through your hood, all over your head. There's an option with these devices that you can also use a splitter. Okay, so you'd run in through your cool tube and then you could split it right here. One would go to your hood and then one would go to a cooling vest. So some other traditional systems would require two hoses. Um, you can do it with a high pressure system, use a splitter. Um, you can use that cooling vest with it. Or the reason we like to use this hood for spray foam, it's a double bibbed hood, as you can see. Okay, so the idea is that you tuck in this bib underneath your suit all the way around, and then the outer bib hangs down for extra protection. But what that's doing, if you're wearing a little bit heavier suit, it'll actually blow air through that through that double bib and get your torso area cool as well. It actually kind of blows up like the Marshmallow Man. So you'll, you can definitely tell that it's working. It's super comfortable. Um, just wanted to show you some of those options as well. Another cool product is this evaporative cooling. Uh, just a skull cap that you could wear under a hard hat. You could wear it underneath the hood with the ratchet suspension in here. So this is gonna help wick some of the, the moisture out. Um, the reason I brought the hard hat out is because you can use these with the hoods, okay? If you order the right hood, you can put a hard hat underneath it. So I just wanted to highlight that real quick. You don't need those big heavy duty blasting helmets if you're on a commercial job. If you require a hard hat, you can get one of these, wear it underneath the special hood with your skull cap, <clears throat> with your high pressure cooling tube, and you should be ready to rock. I'm Aaron, thanks for watching.